It's Thursday morning. Welcome to morning prayer. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, creator of all, to you be praise and glory forever. As your dawn renews the face of the earth, bring in light and life to all creation. May we rejoice in this day you have made. As we wake refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. We're reading today Psalm 78, verses 1 to 39. Hear my teaching, O my people. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will pour forth mysteries from of old such as we have heard and known, which our forebears have told us. We will not hide from their children, but will recount to generations to come the praises of the Lord and his power and the wonderful works he has done. He laid a solemn charge on Jacob and made it a law in Israel, which he commanded them to teach their children, that the generations to come might know and the children yet unborn, so that they in turn might tell it to their children so that they might put their trust in God and not forget the deeds of God, but keep his commandments, and not be like their forebears, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation whose heart was not steadfast and whose spirit was not faithful to God. The people of Ephraim, armed with the bow, turned back in the day of battle. They did not keep the covenant of God and refused to walk in his law. They forgot what he had done and the wonders he had shown them. For he did marvellous things in the sight of their forebears, in the land of Egypt, in the field of Zoan. He divided the sea and let them pass through. He made the waters stand still in a heap. He led them with a cloud by day, and all the night through with a blaze of fire. He split the hard rocks in the wilderness, and gave them drinkers from the great deep. He brought streams out of the rock, and made water gush out like rivers. Yet for all this they sinned more against him, and defied the Most High in the wilderness. They tested God in their hearts. They demanded food for their craving. They spoke against God and said, Can God prepare a table in the wilderness? He struck the rock indeed, so that the waters gushed out and the streams overflowed. But can he give bread or provide meat for his people? When the Lord heard this, he was full of wrath. A fire was kindled against Jacob, and his anger went out against Israel. For they had no faith in God, and put no trust in his saving help. So he commanded the clouds above, and opened the doors of heaven. He rained down upon them manna to eat, and gave them grain of heaven. So mortals ate the bread of angels. He sent them food in plenty. He caused the east wind to blow in the heavens, and led out the south wind by his might. He rained flesh upon them as thick as dust, and winged flower, fowl like the sand of the sea. He let it fall in the midst of their camp, and round about their tents. So they ate and were well filled, for he gave them what they desired. But they did not stop in their craving, their food was still in their mouths. When the anger of God rose against them, and slew their strongest men, and felled the flower of Israel, but for all this they sinned yet more, and put no faith in his wonderful works. So he brought their days to an end like a breath, and their years in sudden terror. 
Whenever he slew them, they would seek him. They would repent and earnestly see, search for God. They remembered that God was their rock and the most high God their redeemer. Yet they did but flatter him with their mouth and dissembled with their tongues. Their heart was not steadfast towards him, neither were they faithful to his covenant. But he was so merciful that he forgave their misdeeds and did not destroy them. Many a time he turned back his wrath and did not suffer his whole displeasure to be roused. For he remembered that they were but flesh, a wind that passes by and does not return. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The canticle is a song of the covenant. I have given you as a light to the nations, and I have called you in righteousness. Thus says God, who created the heavens, who fashioned the earth and all that dwells in it, who gives breath to the people upon it, and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord, and I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the captives from the dungeon, from the prison those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name, my glory I give to no other. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. I have given you as a light to the nations, and I have called you in righteousness. A reading from Acts chapter 24, beginning at verse 1. Five days later, the high priest Ananias came down with some elders and an attorney and a certain Tertullius, and they reported their case against Paul to the governor. When Paul had been summoned, Tertullius began to accuse him, saying, your Excellency, because of you we have enjoyed long peace, and reforms have been made for this people because of your foresight. We welcome this in every way, and everywhere with utmost gratitude. But to de detain you no further, I beg you to hear us briefly with your customary graciousness. We have, in fact, found this man a pestilent fellow, an aggregator among all the Jews throughout the world, and a ringleader of the sect of the Nazarenes. He even tried to profane the temple, so we seized him. By examining him yourself, you will be able to learn from him concerning everything of which we accuse him. The Jews also joined in the charge by asserting that all of this was true. When the governor motioned for him to speak, Paul replied, I cheerfully make my defence, knowing that for many years you have been a judge over this nation. As you find it out, it is not more than 12 days since I went up to worship in Jerusalem. They did not find me disputing with anyone in the temple or stirring up a crowd, either in the synagogues or throughout the city. Neither can they prove to you the charge that they now bring against me. But this I admit to you, that according to the way which they call a sect, I worship the God of our ancestors, believing everything laid down according to the law or written in the prophets. I have a hope in God, a hope that they themselves also accept, that there will be a resurrection of both the righteous and the unrighteous. Therefore, I do my best always to have a clear conscience towards God and all people. Now, after some years, I come to bring alms to my nation and to offer sacrifices. While I was doing this, they found me in the temple, completing the rite of purification without any crowd or disturbance. But there were some Jews from Asia. They ought to be here before you to make an accusation if they have anything against me. Or let these men here tell you what crime they had found when I stood before the council, unless it was this one sentence. But I called out while standing before him, it is about the resurrection of the dead that I am on trial before you today. But Felix, who was rather well informed about the way, adjourned the hearing with a comment, when Lysus, the tribune, comes down, I will decide your case. Then he ordered the centurion to keep him in custody, but to let him have some liberty and not to prevent any of his friends from taking care of his needs. 
Here ends the reading. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned. I have called you by name, you are mine. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. The Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And so we pray. Almighty God, we pray this morning for our national government. We pray for our elected officials. And we pray for the Prime Minister. Lord, we pray for our local governors. We pray for our town councils. And we pray for all who work to seek the common good. Almighty God, we pray for our environment. We pray that you would help us to be good stewards of the beautiful gifts that you have given us. Father, we pray for those who provide local services. We pray for our emergency and rescue organisations. We pray for our local schools, colleges and universities. And we pray for those who work in voluntary organisations, especially those seeking to help others, praying especially today for our local food banks and our homeless charities. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. So may the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.